Hello everyone. Welcome to the Cloud Network. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to install Fedora 21 desktop on your virtual box. Uh, you can also install in your uh, laptop server also Fedora desktop uh, with the help of pen drive bootable and you need a DVD free. You need to make a pen drive bootable and also DVD. Uh, after that, you need to have pen drive 4GB at least free. Uh, what is Fedora? Fedora is nothing but latest version is having released 21 Fedora previously which was Fedora 20 that's offered the free uh, distinct products that is first one is Fedora workstation next one is the Fedora server <coughs> another one is the Fedora cloud edition Fedora is also in operating system based on Linux kernel and developed by community support Fedora project owned by Red Hat Fedora contains software distribution under a free and open source license aim to be on leading edge of the such technologies so this is one requirement is this minimum requirement to download before downloading you need to have this uh, one giga processor or dual core processor is better and one gb of ram you need to have and 10 gb of disk space and graphic card or display should be have 1024 into 786 either you can have a dvd cd or usb port installation and you need to have an internet access last one before moving to our installation First of all, uh, I will show you how to download. Just open your uh, browser and type Fedora 20. And here is your website of Fedora 20. Just click on this website and you will come on this website of Fedora. Uh, you can see on the screen, this is the Fedora website. Here is the workstation, here is the server and here is the cloud. Uh, whichever you required for download purpose according to here, you can click and download. And just uh, for test purpose, which I am showing you about this video, I am clicking on workstation. And here is the Linux workstation. So I've been waiting for you. Just click on download. It will be start automatically downloading. And if you if you need server edition, just click on server and click here to start automatic downloading. So which I have already downloaded. Let me show you. See, you can see on the screen this one. I have uh, downloaded Fedora 20 workstation. That is 21 latest version, which I have already downloaded. The size is 1.35. This. 3.4 GB is the size of a Fedora workstation. Uh, before moving, you need to have VirtualBox installed. Uh, you can watch my uh, video how to install uh, VirtualBox on a Cloud Network channel. And here is my VirtualBox. Just click to create new. And here you need to type uh, Fedora Fedora 21. That is latest version. Select which uh, you need to have whether 32 bit or 64 bit which ISO image you have downloaded. Click on next, uh, assign the RAM as much as do not go beyond to the red point. Okay, here you need to stay on the green point, do not go to red. Just click on next and then you need to create a hard drive now. Click on next and click on next, next. And here this is the hard disk site is going to storage, installation and other file storage. So I am giving at least 25 GB for my Installation hard disk drive and this is the location is going to store. Uh, just now I have changed the location of my uh, drive. If you want to keep default, means you can keep default. Click to create now and then click to on settings. Uh, here we need to change some settings and go to systems. Uncheck this uh, floppy and then go to storage. Assign your and click on empty and then click on your uh, choose virtual diseases that means ISO image where I have downloaded it and double click on it and then go to network to access the internet for purpose you need to click on bridge adapter so click ok and then click to start now within a minute it will begin installation now you can see on the screen this is a startup uh, just press up and arrow to select the highlight option then press uh, press enter on selecting start fedora live so here it will be uh, to start by selecting option so sorry for selecting 32 bit we have to select a 64 bit fedora that's why you get error just click ok and then start again now press and enter Now you 
you can see on the screen this is the welcome to the fedora page uh, just scroll down this one and uh, select which you, you want to try that means uh, it doesn't install on your hard disk you can access only through this uh, iso image if you close this one you will not have any access to fedora uh, if you want to try for trying testing purpose you can use this try option or if you want to install on hard disk just click on this uh, hard disk uh, we need to select a, a language here so i'm going to select a english and which country you belong to select here so it belongs to india so i've selected according to your country according to your language you can select and you click to continue so here you can see this is please market completed items with icon before continuing to the next step so before going to the next step check the time zone this has selected or not according to your country and this internet is has been detected so you can see and keyboard language also selected so we are going to select the partitions just click on this one okay or else you can have something else means uh, you can have a had added this also you can add a hard disk if you will configure partition later or you will like to make additional space means you can select this one then click to run so here no hard disk has been select means we need to select our hard disk and we are showing about this tag now it has been selected the automatic partition selected you can see on the screen so just scroll down and click to begin the installation so we need to buy by the installation here is showing we we'll go for the setting a password for the root so i am giving a root password and here confirm the same password and proceed you can give a strong password for logging into the root so remember this password and click to done okay no user will be uh, you can give a user like i am giving cloud network okay you can use or also here is cnetwork will be make a administrator or require a password to login just give a password and confirm the same password and uh, you can have a advance also uh, selecting advanced partition now you can see on the screen the installation software 14% is completing so you need to be patient here while installation till then you can have a coffee or tea so now you can see on your screen uh, fedora is now successful install and ready for to use go ahead and reboot just go for the quick and have a reboot if you get again installation just close this after reboot just close the virtual box and then what you have to do is just open the virtual box settings and go for uncheck this on the system uncheck this cd dvd rom to avoid again solution just click for start again can see on the screen just to click press and enter by selecting the first option so now you can see on the screen login page came press and type the password and sign in if you forget the password of this one you can reset by watching my uh, how to reset the password uh, about it fedora in my channel so here is the welcome page on screen you can see so if you want to find some activity click on the activity so you can see by default firefox install evolutions media player photoshop tool this is files and folders this is software so service center if you want to search you can search here the times so this is language to work and this is for your internet ethernet connected internet and this is for your mind and uh, sound this is battery 
and this is for your account to shut down means you can shut down means by clicking here so you can see see if you want to restart if you want to power up cancel you can cancel automatic shutdown will be cancel and see your welcome screen select the language keyword okay and by tab by default everything has been selected so i'm skipping if you want to connect you can connect here so start using the fedora click now okay so these are the options available in your fedora installations you can find uh, if you have any clarity you can comment below to my video to get any problem during the so so if you get any problem during the installation if you have any problem you can comment below to my video so thank you for watching my rt plotnet video